Google provides an awesome free service called Google Forms that can be used to ask questions online. And out of many different places to use Google Forms, one important one will be on Facebook fan page where it can be used to conduct surveys, taking custom orders from your Facebook fans or you can even use it if you own a confession page and most importantly I have seen people using it for providing cashbacks for their affiliate sales. Hi there, I am Rinal and welcome to RTT Videocast. In today's video, we are going to find out the easiest way to add Google Forms to your Facebook fan page. Now, adding Google Forms to your Facebook page not only make it stand out from rest, but the best part about this is that there is no coding required and all this can be done in less than 5 minutes. Now, we are going to do this in two steps. In the first part of this video, I will show you how to make a Google Form. So if you already know that, you can just skip to the second part of this video. And in the second part, we will see how to embed that Google Form to your Facebook fan page. So let's get it started. So to create a Google Form, just head over to drive.google.com and then log in with your Google credentials. After successfully login, you will see the screen like this. Just head over to this create button and select form from here. You will see a new tab will get open and from here you will have to enter the form title. Just enter the form title. In this case, I'm going to make an order form. So I will name it order and then select the list theme from the given options. I will just go for this magazine one and once you are there, you can just give a form name and a description so that you can easily remember it later. Add the description that you want so that you can easily recall the form you have made. Now creating a Google form is fairly simple. Just enter the question and specify what kind of question you are going to ask. For this case, I am going to ask the name. So enter the question title as name and then you can select the type of question you want for this instance i'm going for the text question and then make sure that you check mark this required question now you can do this same thing for the question, other questions by clicking on this add button so i will just copy down the questions to save some time Now once you are satisfied with your questions, you can just take a live preview by clicking on this view live form and then check your form that all of things has been entered the way you wanted and once you are satisfied click on this send form button. If you want people to use this form which is hosted in Google server then you can share the link that it shows here but since we want to embed this form on our Facebook page click on this embed button and get the embed code most of us face problem while embedding the google forms on a facebook fan page this is fairly because there is no direct option to add html or iframes on facebook so there is a two workaround that you can use to solve this problem the first one is by using Facebook developer option and then creating your own application. This method is relatively tough and needs some experience along with time. While the second method that we are going to use in this video is fairly simple and it is done by using the existing application. So in this video I will show you how to use third party application. But if you want to create your own application, then you can check the link which will be in the description box below. So let's get started. Okay, so head over to your browser and then log in with your Facebook credential to your Facebook account. And after you have logged into your Facebook account, just go to the page where you want to add the Google Forms and on the search box type the keyword static html 
and as you can see that there will be couple of drop down suggestions appearing in the search results now you can go with any of the result that you want for this case i will go for static html iframe tab per woobox but before selecting the options just make sure that it has large number of users or large number of downloads just to avoid any scams now install this page by clicking on this install button and then choose the page where you want to add and then click on this add page tab so once you do that you will see that a new welcome tab has appeared on your facebook page now to make changes or to add the google forms click on this settings button and you can see that facebook will provide you a html editor where you can add a third party html code on your facebook pages so just copy paste the code that you have copied earlier from your google forms and then once you are done you can just see the changes clicking on this editor option and as you can see from the editor option the code is exactly the same we have used before and once you are done click on also make sure that you change the tab name so click on this tab name option and give the custom name so that user can easily understand what kind of form it is and once you are done with your changes click on this save settings options now refresh this page to see the settings that has been made and you can see that the form has appeared now in this case i will add some hypothetical informations just to make sure that the form is working and once i am done i will click on this submit button now to see the responses you will have to go back to your google drive because google drive stores all the responses in the form of a spreadsheet so just head over to your google drive and then click on the form that you have created in this case it was a order form and on the spreadsheet you can see or the google form you can see that there will be an option appearing says view responses click on that and it will launch the spreadsheets and as you can see that the hypothetical information that we have added is here well this is all for now i hope that you find this information useful and for more tips tricks and daily life hacks don't forget to subscribe to this channel till then this is minal signing off and like always thanks for watching and just before you go make sure that you hit the subscribe button really very really hard